In this video, we're going to show you how to manage your leads with our simple lead system inside of Carrot. And also, we're going to show you how to export leads from your system if you want to do that. Uh, right now, this is 2013. We have a very simple lead database where when, when leads opt into your system, they'll be put into the simple lead database. From there, you can look at the leads, you can export the leads, do simple management of the leads, or you could, of course, export them into a full CRM if you're using one away from Carrot. One of the first things you're going to see is here on your dashboard, you'll see this, this box that says Forms. You can choose to have this on your dashboard or not. You can choose to move it. You, know, you can shrink it down, whatever you want to do. But this gives you a quick snapshot of your forms with some most recent unread leads that have came in. Okay. So one of the first things we're going to do to manage leads is go over to Forms, and there's a link called Entries. And first, I'm going to show you where to find your leads how to look for them. Uh, number one, of course, you are going to get an email every time a lead comes in. So rest assured, anytime a lead comes in, our system will send you an email with the full lead details. So what a lot of investors do will is they will take those emails that they get inside of Gmail or whatever email account you're using, and with folders, they'll actually use that as their CRM to manage their leads, which is really cool. So you can just choose how you want to really manage your leads through this. So when I click Entries, it'll take me to the default Entries page. And up, up top here, you're going to see the name of the form that it is showing entries for. You can see in this sample website, we don't have any leads for this particular form. But over here on the right, there's a thing that says Switch Form. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to this Need to Sell Your House Fast form to look at these entries over here. So you can see we've got a test entry over here. And this is just the, the opt-in form on the home page on this sample motivated seller website. And you can see the property address they put in there, phone, email. There's a lot of different things you can do to kind of manage what information is on these leads. There's this uh, box that says edit right here. You can go ahead and click edit. And now we can actually add in other columns to this if you want. One column that we like to add in a lot is the entry date column. And you can just go ahead and drag this right over. And this is all up to you, but I'm just showing you that there are different options that, where you can display different information about your leads. Um, you know where they came from, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and also drag over the source URL. So what this means is what page in your website did they come from? So this is pretty cool. So over here now we have the date and time that they entered in their information. We have the website that they came from, the exact, the specific web page, and then the rest of the information from the lead. So that just shows you really quick that you can kind of manage those different things. You can mark it as red. You can view the you can view the full lead contact details. You can make notes to the lead, and you can add these different notes. So, you know, call lead today, um, making an offer. Let's go ahead and add that note. And then the note is attached to this, and you can share the note with people. So you can see here, also email this note to, you can even email this note to that person if you want to, with the subject line. So if you want to reply back to that lead directly from inside of the Carrot system, you can do that. So that's your email. There's a subject line that would go back to them, and that would go back to the lead, which is really, really cool. Um, you can do a lot of different things inside of here, kind of toy around with it and, and see what you can do. And like I so said, this, this form only asks for a few bits of information, but if this was one of your longer forms, all that information would be right here. Okay. So there's a few other things you can do. If you want to delete the note, you can delete the note. I'm just going to go ahead and bounce back to that previous page that I was on. And if you want to get rid of the lead, you can go ahead and trash the lead. The lead will be gone. Okay, it's going to go to this trash folder. So that's the way that you can manage your leads in our simple lead database inside of Carrot. If you want to export your leads to another system, you can do that really, really easily with our export tool where it'll export your leads into a CSV file format which is compatible with Microsoft Excel and a lot of other systems where you can import things into. What you're going to do is go to Forms and then go to Import Export. And this is going to give you the option to actually export different and you can export the entries from your forms, you can export forms or whatever. So if you have a form on one of your other websites with us that you want to import into another website rather than recreate it from scratch, this is where you would do that. You would export a form and then import the form on your other website. Uh, we're going to be talking about leads in this though, which we call entries in Carrot. So if you want to export the, the, the leads, all we got to do is select the form. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the, the form um, right here. Go ahead and select all or just select the specific uh, details you want. We're just going to go ahead and select the specific details that we want 
entry date, source URL, and then we're good to go. Select the date range. So here you can just select the range you want to export. So some people might be exporting every day if you're getting a lot of leads, exporting every week, every month, whatever you want to do, and then putting them in, into your, your other CRM. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that's the start date. And let's just say we're exporting for the whole month of July uh, right now. Download export file. It's now downloading this CSV file onto my computer, and now you can do whatever you want to do with that CSV file. You can import it into a lot of systems, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's how to manage your leads inside of Carrot using a simple CRM as well as exporting leads outside so you can move those leads to another CRM if you want.